Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So for today's video, I want to do part two of my Ulta haul. But before I start, I want to address the style right here. So the reason why I'm wearing this glass is because I received this pair of glass as a pair of sunglasses from K Australia. But when I got my package, part of the lenses actually fall off like on this side because the two screws are missing. So I was like, what shall I do? Then I wrote them an email. They issued me a refund and told me that I can keep the glass. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should get rid of this side so that I can just wear it as a frame. So that's what I did. And as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, I actually look really, really cute. So I decided I want to wear it for today's video so that I can change a little bit style-wise. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think in terms of me wearing the glasses. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? For me, I kind of feel like I look like a Japanese student in some ways. Like when I was younger, I wear glasses. I wear glasses in middle school and high school. Believe or not, I'm a nerd in middle school and part of the high school. Like I gradually become this kind of like trendy girl when I was like later down in high school years. But in middle school, I'm completely, I'm a nerd. So I always wear glasses and all that kind of stuff. So this kind of brings back the good memories, like the good old days. So yeah, just let me know what do you think. All right, now we're getting that out of the way. Let's just jump right into the haul. All right, so the first item I got from Alta is this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. So this is called the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And this is not a new product. Actually, I own this maybe three years ago, but my color is darker because I bought it in the summertime. So I actually always want to repurchase this one, but then I was like, there's always new concealers in the market and this one is not like my favorite favorite. So I always put it off that plan. So the other day when I saw this on sale, I was like, yes, I really want to retry this one. Because according to my memory, it is really lightweight, but it's really full coverage because it's a serum concealer. So it does not crease underneath your eyes, which is really, really good. I just love that, especially in the winter time. So this time around, I picked the shade light because I just like a brightened under eye. So here is the concealer looks like. I feel like the color looks really good. It kind of reminds me of the new MAC Studio Concealer because of the packaging. Or shall we say the MAC kind of copies the Bare Minerals since this one is here first. So let me swatch it for you guys. Here is the swatch. Look how hydrating that is. It literally looks so moisturized, which is what I am looking for because in the winter time, I really want a really hydrating under eye. I don't want any crease and I don't care if it's too hydrating because I can always set it with setting powder. So yeah, here is the applicator. So it's a flat applicator. I actually dig in this applicator because I just feel like it's so easy to use. It's kind of like the Urban Decay Concealer Applicator. So yeah, this is the first item I got. Right, so moving on, the second item I got is from Persona Cosmetics and I got this highlighter called Zuma. So I have been eyeing this highlighter, you have no idea for how long. But I always feel like the price point is a little bit high so I was like, Maybe I should wait. So thankfully I waited because now it's on sale. So I got this in the shade, I guess Zuma, because I didn't see any other name anywhere. And this one is cruelty free, which is really, really nice. So let's open it together. Here the inside looks like. I have to say that this packaging kind of reminds me of Remo London. Like they have a concealer kit. It's kind of the same color and also it's this plastic. So it kind of reminds me of Remo London. And once you open it up, here is the color. Look how cute that color is. It's literally super cute. So let me swatch it for you guys. This is so pretty. Look at the color. I feel like this just swatches really, really nicely. I follow Sona on her YouTube, so I really like her as a person. That's why I really want to support her. And now the swatches, just look at it. I think this is a pretty color. So yeah, I cannot wait to use this on my face. Right, speaking of highlighters, I got two more highlighters by Ulfer Cosmetics. 
Ofar is another brand that I always want to purchase from. But before, they weren't in Ulta or Sephora, so I'm so lazy. Like, I don't want to go to the website to order it. And thankfully, they're in Ulta now, and I got them on sale, which is so awesome. That's why I got two. So the first one is the Nikki Tutorials Collab. This is a liquid to baked formula, creates show-stopping pigments that melt into the skin. So I have already tried the formula. Let me tell you, the formula is so bomb. If you never tried it, I highly recommend you go to your local Alta, swatch it, just say for yourself. So this inside is the packaging. They changed the packaging to this white packaging, which is so, so cute. And once you open it up, Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. This is in the shade Glazed Donut. So this is the Nikki shade because she's fair. So look at that color payoff. Let me live swatch it. Oh my goodness, isn't that so soft? Honestly, if you wanted me to choose between the Persona and the Alpha, I would say go with the Alpha because I like their formula better. It's liquid to baked. Thus, I just feel like it's definitely more delicate and smooth. I feel like with a highlighter, you definitely want a smooth application because you don't want your highlighter to be too chunky, especially if you go out in person. That's why I feel like the formula is very important. Like, I love the Persona highlighter as well. I think it's so amazing. But I think this one is really better. Just look at it. You should really touch it because it feels so satisfying to touch it. All right, moving up. The second highlighter is another Nikki Tutorial collab. And this is called Cloud 9. So let me swatch it for you guys. Whoa, here's what it looks like inside. So it's all like kind of like a white sheen colors. And here is a swatch. So let me swatch right next to Glaze Donut. That is pretty. I feel like Glaze Donut is definitely more like a white color versus Cloud 9 is definitely more like, kind of like a fuchsia undertone kind of a white. If you know what I'm saying, like it's definitely different. And I don't think I ever own like a highlighter like that color. I have this Maybelline highlighter and this is also a Nikkei Tutorial collab. I feel like she's a queen of highlighter. So let me swatch it next to the other two. Let's just see. Whoa, the Maybelline one is really good. Look at that. I feel like the Maybelline one is really close to Glaze Donut. Look at that. I mean, now I feel like I find a dupe. Like if you want to buy this one, maybe you should try this one first because the formula is so nice as well. And this is a Nikki Tutorial collab as well. So just look at it. But this color, I definitely do not have one in my collection because it has like a unique fuchsia kind of undertone versus these two are really similar. So yeah, I love this one. And this one is really similar to the Glaze Donut. I need to do an Instagram post. So definitely add me out there. And my Instagram account is beautybyblair1011. I'm born October 11th. That's why it's 1011. So, so yeah, I'll see you on my Instagram. Okay, moving on, the next item I got from Alta is the beauty tool. So this is the Eco Tool Travel Perfecting Blender. So this is what it looks like, and this is a new item. So basically, this comes with a travel kit. And this, I believe, is the original kind of like a blender, but this is in a gray shade. So you just definitely use this put in the case, which is so awesome, because I basically buy this simply for the case, because I am going on road trip soon, so that I need a case on the road. And yeah, this is just so awesome. And I love this blender. It is super soft and because it has a flat top. So it is very easy for you to blend into your corners and also doing like a baking like this or doing under eyes baking. It is really, really awesome and it is super soft. I would say that this is the closest to the Beauty Blender dupe in terms of softness from all the sponges I've ever used. So I highly recommend you check this one out. And on top of the product itself being awesome, it's also very eco-friendly. It's like 100% vegan and they are tree-free papers and also they're dermatology tested and it's recyclable. So all these eco-environment good things. So I feel like you should definitely check out this brand and go support them because they're doing an awesome job. 
All right, moving on the next item I got is this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation, and it is full coverage. I saw so many people rave about this one. I have been always want to try this one. However, they always sold out in my shade, which is F7. So only when I saw them back in stock and also had a discount, I literally snatched this one up because I just cannot pass on the opportunity. So here is the bottle looks like. I would say that it's very comparable to the Clinique foundation as well as the Tarte foundation. And let me open it for you guys. So here, once you open it up, Wow, the doe foot is giant. I would say that this one is bigger than the tar shape tape doe foot. So that is awesome. And let me swatch right here. So here's the color, that's F7. And this is the Bare Minerals Light Concealer. I would say that they're pretty close in terms of the color. This one definitely has a yellow undertone to it. So it is really nice. And I love the consistency, honestly. This feels very like full coverage but lightweight. It's always what I've been looking for in a foundation. So first impression wise, I love how it swatches on my hand. I just need to test on my face and also check in throughout the day to see how it lasts on my skin tone. So definitely let me know if you want me to do a wear test because I don't think I ever did like a wear test of foundation and also check in multiple times during the day. So I'm definitely down to do that. So definitely let me know if you want me to do that because I would love to. All right, next I got some products from Flower Beauty because I just love Drew Barrymore. So the first item I got is because of casting lights. So I got this Warrior Glitter Shadow and this is in the shade Camo. So this is what it looks like. And I saw a swatch by Kathleen Lights, so I was like, yes, honey, I have to have it. So let me swatch it on my hand. Whoa, this color is beautiful. Look how shimmery that is. And that is very pigmented. I love it. And also here's the dofu. Look, it's kind of like a tip. So that's pretty cool. I just love this color with the shimmer and everything. Wow, that is so cool. So yeah, this is the first item from Flower Beauty. Definitely want to wear this on my eyes because this is so gorgeous. Moving on, the second item I got from Flower Beauty is this Wonderlust Flower Eyeshadow Palette. So this is what it looks like. I've been eyeing this one at least for three months now. And I was debating so hard because you know how much makeup I buy. So I don't just want to mindlessly buy anything. Even though I have a YouTube channel, like I technically have an excuse. But I still want to like exercise some kind of financial discipline. So I'm putting up buying this one until it was on sale, which I'm really proud of myself. I want to do more of this. Like I want to be more financially disciplined and I want to utilize my current collection because I do have a giant collection. Part of the reason why I don't want to show it is because I don't want people to judge me or just bash me or whatever. Like I just... Like, I just don't need that. Like, I know that brings in a lot of views, but I just, I don't know. I don't want any stress in my life, to be honest. That's why I never show my collection. But if you guys truly want it, I can do, like, different categories, like my foundation collection. I already did part one. I know that I need to do part two, part three. It's just a holiday season. There's a lot of content that I need to push out. I haven't done that yet, but it's on the top of my list for 2019. I'm literally going to do sit down, doing my foundation collection, doing my concealer collection, primer, and here is the palette looks like look how cute are those shades and what drew me in is this green shade right here i just feel like it is so unique that's why i just want to buy it so this is what it looks like kind of swatch a little bit choppy i'm not going to lie and this is what it looks like on my hand yeah it's definitely more choppy i would say that i'm more impressed with this glitter eyeshadow versus this green color but this one is really cheap so i gave it a pass I just swatch this champagne color right here. This is the color right here. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not like, bang, amazing, amazing. So I was like, okay, let's swatch this kind of like a purple shade right here. Dark purple. This one is super cute. Look at the color. This is cute. So yeah, I like this palette. I think I need to test it more because it didn't really wow me first impression wise. But you never know when you apply on your eyes. For example, my eye look today. Going into the palette that I used, I am not like have high expectations. But it turns out I really, really love it. You guys really have to check out that video. I'll leave a card right here so you can go check it out. I'm not going to spoil alert you guys. So definitely go check that video out after this one. So yeah, this is a palette I got from Flower Beauty. 
Alright, moving on, the next item I got is a hairspray by Bad Hatiji. So when I saw this on sale, I'm like, yes, I really want another one. So this one is the Queen Beach Salt Infused Texture Spray. I've never used this one. I have another one. It's a pink one and I use it up completely. It really helps with my color treated hair. Like every time I feel like my hair is a little bit frizzy, I just always spray it out and then I brush it out. And I feel like it helps a lot with my tangleness and also my texture wise. So when I saw this one, I'm like, yes, I just really want to try it. I feel like Bad Hat TG is a really affordable brand. They always have sales. They're not expensive to begin with. Their products work. Like it really helps me a lot in terms of the texture. So I'm like, okay, let me just get another one. So this is the one that I got. I love the color. I think it's so cute. And yeah, you just spray it out and then you brush it off. That's how you get it. You just spray it out like this. Smells exactly like my other one. So it's like the same scent. It's kind of like a sweet scent, but it's not like a candy scent. It's kind of like a sweet fragrance scent, maybe like a fruity scent I really love. So yeah, I love it. And that's the next item I got. All right, moving on. The next item I got is from Makeup Revolution and it is an eyeshadow palette. This is called the Reloaded Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. And I got it because this reminds me a lot of the Novena palette and I love that palette. That's why I felt like I should totally get this one. And this is only $7 and I have 20% off. So it's literally like $5.60, which is such a good deal for like 15 eyeshadows. That is so good. And for me, I love Makeup Revolution's eyeshadow palette, especially in this format. I think they're really decent. I wouldn't call them like super pigmented, but for the price point, I think it's really good. So let me swatch a few. This is the first one. It is pretty good. Look at the color. And then we have this kind of pink color right here. That is pretty good as well. Look at that. Then we also have this lilac -y color right here. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love that color. That is so pretty. You can totally wear it alone. This is the color. And also all the mattes I actually really love as well. I think their mattes is really buttery and pretty pigmented. Can't really see, but it is super good. So yeah, I love this palette. And this one. So yeah, this is such a good buy for me and I will do a tutorial using this one. So definitely stay tuned. Since we've done a lot of swatches, how can we not have some makeup wipes? So I got two and the first one is by number seven. So this is called the Beautiful Skin Makeup Remover and it is for all skin type and it can remove even waterproof mascara and it is hyper energetic, which is really, really nice. And this is the inside looks like. I actually already started using it because this is so nice and this one does not really have a scent which I love because sometimes when I take on my makeup I don't want fragrance on my face if that makes sense like I want to take off all the chemicals so it doesn't really make sense to have like a fragrance remover to like take off my makeup so I really really love this makeup wipe all right, moving on, the next makeup remover wipes is from Shea Moisture, and this is 100% virgin coconut oil. It is called the Daily Hydration Facial Wipes. So yeah, that's the name right there. And it cleanses and softens all skin types, and it has coconut milk and Arkarsha Senegar. I don't know what is that, but I'll try to Google it. And this one is also for all skin type. It is 100% vegan, it's cruelty free, and it's 30 biodegradable cleansing wipes, which is really good for the earth. So yeah, let's open her up. I've never tried this one yet. I haven't tried this one yet, so let's see. Mm, this one have a coconut milk flavor. Since it is coconut milk, so I think it's really good instead of like artificial fragrance. So yeah, this smells so good. I'm Oh my gosh, I love the scent so much. Why didn't I pick this up earlier? Like literally this brand is everywhere. So now I know it. I will stick to this one because I love a coconut milk smell. And moving on, the next item I got is from Flower Beauty as well. And it is a highly sought after item. It literally sold out in Alta one time. It literally sold out in their official website as well. So when I went to my local Alta and I saw three left, I was like, yes, I have to have one. So here it is. It's the Flower Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. So this is what it looks like. 
a lot of people saying that this is a dupe for the Farsali, kind of like the purple one. I don't know the name, but it's the purple one. So when I saw this in all time, like I have to pick it up. So this is what it looks like. It looks super cute. So for this one, I guess you can either use as a primer or a serum because this is a skin elixir. So technically it's a serum. So let me try a little bit. Here is a dropper. And once it's on the skin, oh my goodness. That is pretty. Wow. So you have a shimmer on your skin. A lot of people in the comments saying that they were kind of like hesitant. They don't know how to use it. Once they saw Drew Barrymore use on the Instagram stories, they were like, okay, we want to try it now. So here is the color. It is really nice. It has a shimmer to it and it has that moisture. I would say it's a little bit oily when I feel on my hand, but I need to try on my face to really like figure it out. But so far, I really like it. I think this is a beautiful shade. So yeah, this is a skin elixir from Flower Beauty. All right, lastly from Flower Beauty, I got two beauty sponges right here. And I read so many comments online saying that this one is amazing. It is just as soft as a beauty blender, but so much cheaper. So I'm like, yes, let me just try it too because I am a junkie for all the makeup sponges. So yeah, that's the last two items I got by Flower Beauty and I'll definitely test it out in my future video. All right, so yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff I got from Alta. And let me know what you want to say next. I'll definitely do it for you guys. And that's it. That's all the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.